Hey friends, it's Danny, and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing well, and as always, thank you so much for being here. Your support truly means so much to me, so thank you, thank you, thank you. This video is going to be very different than my usual vlog because I'm going to be sharing fall trends that I'm currently loving. There are so many different styles that I'm seeing emerge out there, and I really wanted to just share the things that I'm loving in case you are fall shopping or looking for some inspiration. I really love versatility, I love wearability, and having practical, comfortable outfits. So I wanted to share my take on fall fashion with you. I took some uh, inspiration from Pinterest to give you some ideas of what some outfits, what some cute outfits could look like, as well as different ways to style trends if you are not sure how to style them. I know there's some things that I love, but then I'm like, oh, how would I wear this? So I hope that this video is helpful. It's something that I always enjoy watching different like trend reports from different content creators just to kind of get their take on what's out there. So might be kind of long. Grab yourself a cup of tea and let's go ahead and jump into it. I have my phone here because there's quite a lot to cover. I had to readjust a little bit because I'm sitting on the floor by a window and the sun is beaming, which is really lovely, but for the sake of this video, it's not really helping with the lighting, so I do apologize. I'm not home and I wanted to get this video recorded so I can have it up by Tuesday, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So. The first trend that I'm loving this fall are maxi skirts. I love a good maxi skirt. I love the overall versatility with how you can take it from day to night. And even if it's not something where it's necessarily like a going out outfit, I think just to be able to either pair it with a hoodie, a blazer and a pair of trainers, or a pair of heels and a button up, it can go so many different ways and really be that key versatile piece in your wardrobe. In terms of, you know, looking great on everybody, I have not seen a maxi skirt that looks horrible on any body shape, any body type, or height. I've seen so many different women of all sizes and shapes wear maxi skirts and they look absolutely beautiful. So if you're looking to incorporate something different into your wardrobe or if you want to try something different, definitely look for a maxi. I got this one from H&M and it is my new favorite thing to wear. You can dress it casual, you can dress it up. I wore this recently in a shorts video with a pair of sambas, a sweater, and just like a, a lighter sweater over my shoulders. And I got so many compliments on it while I was wearing it, which made me feel good. It's always so nice to be complimented on the things that you're wearing, but I really do adore this skirt. So if you're looking for one, I highly recommend this one from H&M. I also love that this season there are variations of the textures and materials of, of maxi skirts. So whether you're looking for a cargo over the summer, I saw some really pretty linen maxi skirts. The fall is always a great time for knitwear. I love knitwear. I actually recently picked up this set, which the top is a tank top, but you can wear the skirt with a jumper or with a blazer or a light coat. But I love the maxi skirt and the, and the thickness of the knit material. It's so beautiful. Whether you wear it with knee-high boots, trainers, flats, take your pick. But again, versatility is key here. And I will definitely want to buy some more maxi skirts for the season. Number two is the color red. Now, I am someone who, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that my style is more on the neutral side. I like to have a nice blend of masculine and feminine elements. And so I really don't lean too much towards color because I like for my wardrobe to be versatile in that I could wear my more expensive stuff with my inexpensive stuff and wear it interchangeably, but also know that I'm not gonna have to color match. So now let's talk about red. Red is such an intense color. Red is a commanding color. Red is one that can provoke a lot of emotion, reaction, but I definitely feel like it's a color that really says I'm here and it has, it commands that attention, which I love. If you're like me and red can be a little bit intimidating, a cute way to incorporate this trend into your wardrobe would be to maybe add some red accessories, a red bag or some red boots. 
I recently saw on TikTok this girl shared a really cute outfit and she threw on a pair of red vintage loafers and I thought that it was just the most adorable thing ever because it was unique, it was cute, but it gave a nice pop of color. So red is something that you might want to consider this fall, whether you're looking for an evening look, a daytime look, and definitely we know we'll be wearing red for the holidays, but having this color in your wardrobe throughout the season, I think is going to be such a cute trend to incorporate this fall. The third trend that is on my list are asymmetrical tops. Now, for the fall, you might be thinking it's not really practical to wear an asymmetrical top, but if you are going out with your girlfriends, if you're going on a date, if you're going into a function or a party, I think it's a very cute way to elevate a simple outfit by wearing an asymmetrical top. There are so many different styles out there, but I really love these tops by Marcella or Marcella. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Correctly. But I think it's so beautiful how you have the simple basic t-shirt structure and then the other half just kind of swings over and goes up your arm to give this piece in a very nice silhouette. They just add a little bit of a special touch to your outfits by not trying too hard, still looking a little sexy, very put together, and very feminine too. I love how feminine asymmetrical tops can look. So simple ways that you can wear them would be to get something that's just kind of off the shoulder a little bit with this top, or the Marcella top that I showed you which comes in black or white, or a common style that we've seen a lot of is just the one arm um, where it has one sleeve and then the other sleeve is cut out. So again, if you have a holiday event, a work event, a celebration, a going out, a date, whatever, definitely consider an asymmetrical top. Pair it with some cute statement earrings like a clip-on or like a nice bold chunky earring which is also trending which is what I also love this fall and I think it could look really well put together and comfortable. Emphasizing the masculine and feminine look that I like to have, I would style an asymmetrical top with a pair of loose baggy trousers, a minimalist heel, and chunky gold accessories just to kind of have that play on feminine masculine but you can style it however you want whatever makes you comfortable it's definitely something to incorporate and very very simple to style into your wardrobe the fourth trend that I'm loving is yellow now yellow is the color of happiness yellow is soft it's feminine it's innocent yellow is just a beautiful color and I love the fact that there are so many brands out there whether high-end or low-end that are incorporating this color into their lines. So Kos actually has a really beautiful yellow wool coat, which I think ranges about $230, I believe. I personally would not buy it because it's a very trendy color and I don't see myself wearing a yellow wool coat all year round or perhaps more than one or two seasons. But if you are someone who live in color, you embrace it, definitely check it out because it's adorable. Wearing yellow similar to red can be a little bit challenging, especially in the fall because it is similar to softer pastels depending upon what like color, what tone of yellow you're looking for. But I think wearing yellow with a heavy pair of wool trousers or even a nice light pair of wool trousers. I know Labor Day is tomorrow and we have the rule that you don't wear white after Labor Day, but you can wear off-white, you can wear cream, and it pairs beautifully with yellow. I also love that you can really take a focus on textures and materials here. So obviously you're not gonna go for a thinner material like linen, but if you reach for a chunky knit in yellow, I think that could be such a beautiful look, especially here in the fall when you see a lot of people just wearing black or darker colors. It's so nice to be like that ray of sunshine. Oh, and this bag from Bottega, beautiful. I love it. If I was someone, again, color was all in my wardrobe, I would have this coast wool jacket and I would be set for fall. I keep shifting around to avoid the sunlight, so I just put up a temporary curtain situation and hopefully we could just make it through. <laughs> so definitely for the next video, I'll have a proper filming setup. So to jump back into the list, knit maxi dresses are such a beautiful trend that I'm excited for this fall. Again, similar to maxi skirts and pretty much everything I've mentioned so far, there's a lot of versatility in a knit maxi dress. There's so many different silhouettes that you can choose from, whether it be bodycon or something a little bit looser like the infamous 
dish dress, which I actually showed you a dupe of in my last uh, vlog that I got from Amazon. I repurchased that dress in black because I love it so much. I think crew neck collar, the bell sleeves, and the way it just kind of falls over your body in a nice loose way and the knit material is so cozy yet very very chic and one thing that i love is because it's just one piece it makes it so easy to style and to wear in the fall you could just throw on the maxi skirt with a cute pair of heels a cute pair of flats sneakers boots or when it's a little bit cooler out, you can definitely layer up the, the dress by putting on a cozy jumper, a jacket, and then shedding those pieces as it gets warmer out throughout the day. Because here in New York City, the mornings are so cold in the fall, and then throughout the day, it does warm up a little bit. So a lot of versatility, so many different ways to style them. Definitely loving a knit maxi dress. Now, it would not be fall without mentioning a blazer, and blazers are not just trending for fall 2023, they are a wardrobe staple, but over the years we've seen the overall silhouette change, the style change on a blazer, whether it's very oversized, whether it's more on the masculine side, whether it has a lot of shoulder pads, or very like tailored silhouettes. Blazers can go any way you can dress them up you can dress them down i really love the idea of wearing a blazer with um, very baggy jeans i think that's a nice casual look again to make it more feminine adding in some really chunky jewelry this season we're seeing blazers that have a lot of padding which are more heavier up top but then are a little bit more well structured around the body so this way it gives a nice shape and silhouette. I think blazers are a staple and this is where I kind of spend a little bit more money because I think you get what you pay for but especially when it comes to a blazer because I know it's going to live in my wardrobe for such a long time. Now different styles and different silhouettes are really fun to play with because they can add that little extra pop to your outfit. I picked up this blazer about two seasons or three seasons three seasons ago from H&M and it has been a staple in my wardrobe especially when I'm wearing something a little bit more simple underneath and I want to give the outfit a little bit more of a pop this blazer just does that for me so definitely going to be looking for a, another blazer preferably one in black that has shoulder pads and a nice structured silhouette to give me less of that oversized look a little bit more tailored I guess and the last trend that I am loving and this may not be for everyone but it's denim on denim there are so many different variations of this style whether it's a darker denim a lighter denim Kos actually has a really pretty denim outfit that is one piece where it includes the top and the maxi skirt so incorporating two great trends together but denim similar to blazers will never go out of style you can take the pieces apart to wear them separately or you can wear them together. Now the key here is accessorizing. So if you are someone who you are a little bit more on the petite side and you wear baggier clothes, it would be a good idea to maybe add some belts or maybe cinch your waist so this way you don't get lost in the denim because it can look a little bit overwhelming depending on your body shape and size. But overall, I think a denim on denim look is really cute, it's really fun, it's great for fall, and there's so many different ways that you can style it to make it your own. And I'm really excited to wear this denim overcoat that I picked up from H&M with the matching pants. I'm really excited to wear it, especially as it gets colder with the turtleneck underneath and the denim overcoat and then the pants with a nice pair of boots that I picked up that I'm also excited to wear. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to stop here, but if you would like to see more videos like this or if you'd like to see uh, styling videos, please let me know in the comments down below. If there's any trends here that I didn't mention that you're excited for, share them down below. I'm curious to see what it is that you're loving this fall. And again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for tuning in. Take care and I will see you next week.